There's test matches, and then there is Boxing Day test matches. A mention for Scott Boland, comes the fourth Indigenous test creator for Australia. What a proud moment. They get the opportunity to use a brand new ball on this green pitch on Boxing Day. Is there a noise? There is. They like it, the Australians. It's Captain Pat. In his first over on Boxing Day, a couple of looseners, and then he got the radar right. That's bowling perfection from the Australian captain. What a sound, what a noise, what a moment. And it's taken by Green. Cummins adjusts the length. There's enough on offer here on Boxing Day. And if there's a man that's going to exploit it, it'll be the Australian captain. And again, the catching for the Australians is outstanding. Dillingham captain with three slips in the gully in place. Yep. Down the leg side and Root times it beautifully away back with a square. There's some positivity for the tourists and it gets away over the wet outfield to the rope. Hit the seam, left him, the fence, the nick, and the out. Cummins has three. Oh, beautiful shot. Just a touch on the short side from Boland, and Root was in beautiful position, put that away. It's in, in England's interest, if they can get a reasonable first innings total, that it's going to offer them assistance as well. Tucked away. And for the third time in this series, Joe Root crosses 50. Oh, 69.59, Gary. Mm. Edge and taken! Mitch Stark gets the England captain. And yet again, he makes 50, but doesn't go on. Oh, he'll be so disappointed with his shot, Joe Root. It's outside the off stump. It's, it's a nothing shot. It's not a cut. It's not a drive. It's just a try and deflect. It's a high risk shot. Yeah, you can see the disappointment in his reaction. Yeah. This is his new world, this. To... And again, he's away. Ben Stokes takes four. Well, that's positive. That's beautiful footwork. That's the Ben Stokes we know, the cricketing world knows, and he gets a maximum into you know, the great southern stand. The more I see him, I think the more he's growing into understanding that he belongs at this level. It feels like he's part of the team. Up and away and gone! Green gets the big wicket of Stokes. Tried to get it over the court and didn't get enough elevation. Yeah. And Green gets the wicket. It wasn't quite short enough or high enough for him to get the elevation. That's a huge wicket for Australia. Gets it really fine. And finds the rope. Looked like caught a bit of glove on the way through. Wasn't right to the pitch. Should be out. Boland's underneath it. The Victorian crowd are up behind their local man. Went down looking to hit downtown. Just dragged it. And safely taken Boland. It's an important wicket for Australia. They're into the tail now. So they lost a wicket in the over before lunch, England. Now they've lost a wicket in the over before the tea break. Boland, is it his first test wicket? It is his first test wicket! Or is it his first test wicket? <laughs> Pact is in line and it's hitting the wickets. Well done, Scotty Boland. The crowd behind him, his teammates behind him. He had to wait a few minutes for it, but he's on the board. Nicely driven down the ground. First time we've seen a confident off drive, and it's from Robinson. Long chase required. Beautiful boundary to open his account. That's as good a shot as we've seen today from Bearstow. Through the covers. Another boundary. Oh, that gets in. Green moves in. Gets the big hand underneath it, and Stark strikes. Tightened him up. Straight off the glass, a good leg work from a big man in the gully. Not much gets past him. <laughs> Here he goes again. Jack Leach taking it on against the Aussies. And you catch the higher, wider one from Nathan Lyon. Drew Jack Leach into it. 
Excellent delivery and a nice simple catch for Steve Smith. Have a mo, says Ollie Robinson, and he gets it away to the boundary. Oh, he's oh. found the gap. And that, I think, was deliberate. He got himself into a position which Stark followed him. Well, he's connected with this one, Ollie Robinson, but it's fallen into the hands of Scott Boland. What a debut test match, and the crowd love him. And Australia wrap up the innings, 185, after winning the toss and electing to bowl first. Job well done from the bowlers. And it's now over to the batsman. Marcus Harris is away with a beautiful clip through mid-wicket. Four to him, four to Australia. Slashed. Put away nicely by Warner. It's been slowish outfield all day, but I think that is just going to get there. Nicely put away, David Warner. Looks really on. He looks like he's uh, full of that positive intent that he's become famous for around the cricketing world. <laughs> oh, rears up. Right through the area, Michael Vaughan, Alan Border, where you both suspect there should be a fielder. Warner's got that right. Right out of the middle of the bat. Races in the advertising board there. Big statements here from David Warner and a lot for Joe Root to ponder. Short one, cut away, signature shot for Marcus Harris. Save your legs. Squeezed away, and there it is. Jimmy Anderson gets the massive wicket late in the day. Warner goes, and that's the wicket England needed. Didn't they ever, Howie? Good call. We've been talking about why the 35, 40,000 people are still here because we knew there was still some drama to unfold in these last 15 minutes, the last few overs. Can England find a way? Ooh, that one bounced up on him. Put him on the glove, Ooh, the bottom hand glove. Yes. Yeah, oh. One. <laughs> Ooh, blood on the gloves. That's the bounce of Ben Stokes. It's been a tough day for England. Can they get some late joy? Harris, the local, wanting to hang in. Edged. Runs. Crowd love it. A boundary to finish a dominant day for the home side. Australia one for 61, just 124 behind with nine first innings wickets in hand. Tough day for that man. Sums up England's day, really. That last ball, not much has gone right for them. It's been a perfect day for Australia.